Hey, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida, coming to you with part two of the series entitled Jesus is Jehovah. Now, I want to begin this video with a very basic truth, a very simple truth that's taught all throughout the Old Testament scriptures, and that is that there is only one true God. There is only one real God, and that is Jehovah. Even the Jews of Judaism We'll refer to this today, which is a different religion, of course, than biblical Christianity. And they will, as an Orthodox Jew, quote what they refer to as the Shema every day. And that is Deuteronomy 6, 4 that says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. So the Bible teaches that Jehovah is the one and only true God. He will oftentimes reference the gods of the nations round about, and he will refer to them as false gods because he is the one and only true God. Well, with that in mind, I want you to look with me at Jeremiah chapter number 10, verse number 10. It says this, but the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. Now, in the beginning of the verse there, it says this, but the Lord is the true God. Lord there is in all caps. So we know that's talking about Jehovah. So it's saying that Jehovah is the true God. Notice it says the true God. That's the definite article saying that he is the only one, just one and only true God. After that, it says this, he is the living God. Notice singular, he, he is the only living God. He is the only true God. There is only one true God. You know who it is? It's Jehovah. Well, keep that in mind. And then I want you to go to 1 John chapter number five, verse number 20 in the New Testament. It says this, and we know that the son of God has come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true, even in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Now, first we saw Jeremiah chapter number 10, verse number 10, that told us that Jehovah is the true God, the one and only true God. He is the living God. Now we get to the New Testament and we have a very plain scripture that tells us that we are in him that is true, even in his son, Jesus Christ. And then it says this, this, referring to Jesus, this is the true God and eternal life. What does that mean? Well, it's very simple. It's very plain. Jesus is the true God Jehovah manifest in the flesh. This is a very plain truth that's taught by these two scriptures. You actually don't even need any scripture more than 1 John chapter number 5 verse number 20. You don't even need to compare it with Jeremiah chapter number 10 verse number 10 because we know that the Bible teaches that there is only one true God and that is Jehovah. Therefore, Jesus is Jehovah manifest in the flesh. Another interesting thing about that verse quickly is that notice that it said in the Old Testament in Jeremiah 10.10 10, that Jehovah was the true God and he was the living God. Then here it says about Jesus that Jesus is the true God and eternal life, which makes perfect sense. There is only one true God, my friend, and it is Jesus Christ who is Jehovah manifest in the flesh. God bless you and have a good day.